Why, hello there. This is uh, Fillers Fillers once again back again doing some more recording, some more awesome goodness. And I thought that I'd go ahead and start off by doing another fun little mission. This time around, it's going to be the third mission. Uh, let's go ahead and get this started with the Central Pacific and Union Pacific Railroads linked together on May 10th, 9, or 1869 at, what is it, Promontory Summit, Utah and United to Young Country. It began with the passage of the Pacific Railroad Act on July 1st, 1962. Land grants were made available to the railroads so that they might join the coast of the nation. That's your job now. So bronze is to connect Sacramento, California with Salt Lake City, Utah before 1876. Uh, bronze conditions as well as have a company book value of at least 10 million before 1876. And gold achieve all of the above plus also move 10 carloads of troops between Salt Lake City and San Francisco before 1876. Troops will only appear after the cities are connected, and that's kind of a pain in the ass. Um, special conditions, you'll have limited track. Uh, you start, you'll have 800 miles. At the beginning of each year, you'll earn an additional 100 miles. Uh, you cannot resign or be removed from the chairmanship of your company, and the track must connect to existing trap, and you will not be able to buy or sell stock. So, once again, ah! Once again, I do not need to worry about dividends at all. So I can go over here, change dividend to nothing. Nothing. It matters not at all. Not a lickety split. This is one of those maps that's kind of a giant, huge pain in the ass. So uh, I'm going to try to do the best that I possibly can with it. Um, generally, I actually played this one quite a few times because it is damn hard in order to get it all done. Uh, you want to kind of connect on up to San Francisco as soon as possible. But um, based on how things are set up, you want to pretty much just start off with Sacramento and connect your three cities. And then as soon as you're actually able to get a little bit of money coming on in, connect to San Francisco and then just kind of migrate across the map. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, and then I'll kind of update you on how things are going. Let's do this bad boy. Uh, yeah, right there. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah, that's a good track. That's good right there. Happy with that. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Let's move across the map. Get everything connected on up. Yes, nice flat land is always fun. And connect right here. Make it nice and straight. And let's go ahead and build ourselves a track. A race station, I should say. And let's connect these two guys on up. Let's go from Sacramento on over to Stockton. And make use of our trusted Baldwin. Very nice, and we'll get that started while we build our other track. Now, because of the way that this one's set up, I'm going to just pretty much connect up two stations to begin with, and let some money flow on in. I think it takes a little bit of time for you to actually make use of anything, because it's just damn expensive. As well as you kind of run out of track. As you can see right here, I only have 588 track available, and you get uh, only 100 each year, as they said. So, uh, let's make this a small station. Nice. And connect this guy right here. Think he's the bald one. And, uh. Yes, yes. Build these right in the middle. Ah, that one's a little bit farther away. Oh man, the Stockton Cannibal. I am so awesome. Did you see that? Already have money coming my way. So set that one up. And I'm good to go for a little bit of time. Yeah, so I went and uploaded the first two videos. I've been uh, uploading the content up onto something awful, doing my very first Let's Play up there, trying to get things running and seeing how that works on out, as well as uh, get some advice on how some of that content works and how that works and how to take care of those things. Um, learned that this game, although it's a lot of fun and I've enjoyed it and I've played it quite a bit in the past, might actually not make for the very best Let's Play, and people might prefer to actually see the content via just you know, uploading pictures and kind of talking about what I'm doing rather than going through and breaking this up into videos. And also heard that people might actually prefer it if, let's see, might also prefer it if I actually went to broke it up like those one and a half hour videos into segments of maybe, I don't know, 30 minutes each. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a shot and see how that works on out. Um, before I uploaded it before, because I figured that people will based off of it only being maybe about an hour and a half or so for every single scenario, might actually not want to connect. So actually, I did that as a very first assumption that that would be a preferable way of actually uh, watching these videos. So I guess I was actually wrong on that assumption, and uh, they prefer to have it broken up a little bit more. Um, gone ahead, sped up the game a little bit, because I do need some monies. 
as well as since stock doesn't matter at all in this game, I believe that I can just issue stock as much as I want and use that money for buying stuff because if, if I can't buy stock and I can't sell stock, there's absolutely no reason whatsoever not to make use of issuing stock and getting money out of it. You do it too much and then your share falls and people don't really care about it and you know, what it essentially means is that it's devalued and depreciated, but I mean, as long as you keep on building content and building stuff and getting your stock book up and uh, your marketing up, that'll continue to rise and you can pull out more and more money out of it. And you can use that to buy more, um, you know, more goods, more trains, and more farms is what I'm hoping to do. Um, God damn, all this stuff is expensive as shit. Nope, oh, oh, this one looks like it just cropped on up. Yes, nice and inexpensive. So buy that bad boy. And make it so I get a little bit of money just handed to me every single year. And uh, use that money to make more and more additions so I can finally get on over to San Francisco. If I remember correctly, getting to San Jose isn't that bad. But actually getting over to San Francisco is sort of a pain in the ass. Uh, not allowed. Don't care about that. And let's see. Eh, eh, eh. Don't care, don't care, don't care. Okay, so that's good. Damn, 320. Alright, let's see if I can issue some stock. Nice. Ah, so I've ran out of it. You know, apparently you can only issue stock uh, twice over a one year period. So every single year I'll need to go and issue just a little bit more stock so I can use it for buying more fun things. And then uh, I'll go ahead and continue that path. Anyways, how was your guys' this weekend? Did you guys have a good time? It's currently Labor Day over here and I ended up flying up to Sacramento. Uh... Okay, so produce. Need to get me some more monies for produce goodness. Let's see. Go ahead and look at the briefing. I think that somewhere it'll tell me how much produce I'm actually shipping. But whatever, if I go and I connect up enough tracks, it'll actually uh, even that on out. Do I want to connect to Madeira? Uh, I think that I do. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna wait a little bit longer and I'm just gonna go straight over to San Jose. Ah, damn it. Am I able to issue more stock yet? Nice. Alright, let's save my game. Third map. Oops, shit. Cruise on over there. Uh, pay must have been $100,000 a year. Yes. If you guys don't already know this yet, it's really damn hard to connect all the way on up. Because what you gotta do... Let me go ahead and reduce the speed just a little bit. You need to cruise all the way up here and go up this, up these ridges, and cruise on across over to Susannaville, and then go through Reno, go to Carson over here, all the way to where's this location at? Uh, Salt Lake City, way up here. So it's just rocky. It's just tough. Most of the times, you're not even worried about getting money from these locations up here. You're just worried about running the track all the way up there. And so it actually ends up being a really damn pain in the ass. Let's see. I might just kind of cruise up here and go just to Chico right now. Because I do know no matter what, I have to cruise to Chico. Having another train making me money is a worthwhile cost. Ah, shit. I have no more money. Let's see. Energy stock. Damn it. Alright, let's give it some time. Anyway, so it was uh, Labor Day this weekend. I actually ended up going up to Chico with my buddy, flying up there from Orange County to go and cruise on over there. Uh, every single year we have this trip with our buddies. It's called the Lazy River Rafting Trip, which uh, takes you on the American River and just kind of lets you float on down it while supposedly not drinking alcohol, but you always take alcohol with you anyways. Uh, for needs of, hey, you're on the river, you're going a little bit slow, you're up there having fun, and it's... Uh, it's a worthwhile way to go and spend a lot of time and, and <laughs> essentially get drunk on the river, playing around, messing around with your fun, friends, and uh, just having fun. So I did that. Uh, let me go ahead and build this real quick. Shit, what happened? Sweet, six hauls. Give me monies. I want monies. Go ahead and freeze this on down. Uh, actually, this guy's don't got shit. 
So let's take that. We go from this location to that location. Let's see the American. Let's see. Speeds are higher. Yeah, so that's worth it. Um, and then build me up some of this. Nice. So let's see how that works on out. So yeah, I went up there. Um, ended up going and cruising around and seeing the Chico area up on Saturday. And uh, going to the Sierra Nevada Brewery, which if you guys have never been before, going to breweries is always a great freaking time. It's always cool to go up there and you essentially drink all the alcohol that they have available just like straight from the tap. And most of the time they actually have sampler platters. And uh, you can go and you can try out all their different beers for super, super inexpensive and see what you like and buy growlers of it and things of that nature. As well as if you go on the tours, you can generally go on the tours and um, get free alcohol. They'll just go and provide you free alcohol just to try it on out. And uh, that's always, it's always badass. Because they, they go and they tell you about the stuff, how they formulated everything, um, how they came up with their different recipes, why, you know, why they decided to use different recipes, uh, whether or not they started off with a couple beers, a lot of beers, some tasty beers, some non-tasty beers, all that type of stuff. And whether or not they actually prefer making only one type of beer, but they had to go and diversify so that they could get a larger portion and a lot of different people to enjoy it and like it. Um, it's just because you might like a stout doesn't mean everyone else is going to like a stout. Go ahead and uh, make another save. I know watching me save the game is freaking riveting, but whatever. It's also kind of funny because I don't think I'm really going to go back and use any of these saves, so it's kind of a waste of time for me. But I think that what I'm going to want to do is go here and branch off right there. And lay me some fat track. Ah, oh, crap. Alright. Gonna need some more money first. Let's see if I can just lay a little at a time. Cause it's about to get really hairy real quick. Yeah, look at all those threes. Look at all those fours. I hate that shit. And let's see. Uh, try to get rid of all those. Uh, uh, come on. Ah, there we go. Now that's the track right there. But yeah, I mean, um, I was also going ahead and uploading stuff up to something novel, trying to get people to like it and trying to get people to uh, have some interest in it, and I've not actually decided if I'm going to continue up with this series. I might just make it and upload it just to go and continue it on, especially since I like playing the game, but um, I don't know. I, I don't think it's going to be very much in the vicinity of big hits or big views or anything of that nature, which is also not the main reason why I wanted to do it to begin with. Um, let's see what this guy run out of. Oh, he just broke down because he freaking sucks. Uh, damn it. And... Nope. Alright, who actually has tons of produce? Let's see. I might make another train that's just dedicated to moving produce around. And make it the American. Let's buy that train. Right, let's go look at my train list real quick. Let's get this guy. And let's change what he's actually producing. So I want to go and custom this guy and make it so he's doing produce. Make it so he goes and carries as much produce as he possibly can. Actually, you know what? Let's do let's force two on him. And then any cargo. Any cargo. And do custom manage, produce, produce. No, it's not that one. Any cargo, any cargo. And then do produce, produce. Oops. Produce, produce, any cargo, any cargo. And then uh Custom, produce, produce, any cargo, any cargo. Because I'm going to need that money if I'm going to go and actually succeed. Sorry, guys. I know that's terribly fascinating for you, but I want that monies. I need it. It describes me. Come on, give me some more monies. I don't think there's any way I'm going to get over to San Jose without uh, some serious money cash dollars. And what is it going to be? Triple A? Double A? Alright, let's save. Third map two. Save over that guy gets me a delicious and tasty bond. Yeah, it's pretty cheap. Why not? 
and pause my game while I go ahead and lay this track. But um, yeah, I mean, feedback from you guys, and the more feedback that I get, the better, the better it is, and the more that I can go and change this on up and make it so that it's exactly to your guys' liking. Uh, maybe you want me to go and talk more about the game. Maybe you want me to talk less about the game. Maybe you want me to just stop altogether, and that's completely fine. Hold on, you know what? Uh, let's go right around here. Let's go through the mountains. Go along the side. So got Jose. Maybe just need to go ahead and cruise on over here. Go around these houses. So I think that if I cruise on up here and I do this, yeah, that's connected. What about that? Not connected. Yeah. You always want to make sure you actually connect that area. Actually, it doesn't matter to a giant degree, but um, if you go and you do that, it means that all the actual needs of that community are fulfilled just by actually being in the vicinity. So, oh, crap. That really looks like I'm not going to be able to connect on over here. There's all this water. Ah, uh, shit, yeah. So this is going to be a little expensive. Let's see. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get around that. Let's see, 333. Three, three. Uh... <laughs> I just can't get around that. Let's see. I think some of this is just going to be expensive. I might have to go make it so it's not as expensive, or I can't carry as much train load. Uh, oh, let's see. Cruise on over here. Cruise on over there. And now I'm broke. Alright, let's go ahead and issue another bond, and just connect this guy on up. Because this is where I'm going to make the majority of my money, and so it's worth it right now if I can just get it connected and start getting people on over, making me monies. Now let's see, let's cruise. Yeah. Let's see, not connected, not connected. If I do pick one. There we go. So let's just go ahead and do my very first train from here to there on the American. And yeah, because I'm going to need to put in some of these water towers and things of that nature. And let's put one right there. One right there. And let's resume the game. Really? That's it? That's all that's available? Are you just going to carry some, what, passengers? Oh man. <sighs> oh well. I'll connect up San Jose, I'll get those all in there, and I'll move it from Sacramento, Stockton, and everything from San Jose, and that should be good some monies. And... Let's go ahead and do this guy. Also, based on the uh, description, I need to make sure, well, not the description, but my agreement, I'm going to actually need to go and pay 100000 each year. I believe, let me save it real quick. This is based on what I've seen before. If I'm not careful with where I actually position this, I'm going to go and ruin it. Hey, come on, come on, come on. Let's do it. Let's do that one right there. Now, if I think I look at the grade, yeah, the grade still looks good. Um... Need to make it so that everything gets taken care of. Oh, big money's right there. All right, let's go ahead and make our second facility. And oh, all three of these? <laughs> I have one that connects all three of them. That's awesome. All right, so that just means I need to make. Let's see. Uh, where's this? Potential position that might suck balls. That one right there. Okay, 
Nice. And let's make another train that goes from this location to that location. And make it the Baldwin. Yeah, let's do a Baldwin. I'm almost out of money. There we go. <laughs> now I got to me some monies. Do that to that. Do a Baldwin. Um, if you notice that when you go ahead and set up the trains, let's set that up right there too. Uh, there's actually different states and trains. So essentially, like you know, the six percent for the grade. You know, when you actually see those numbers, you actually see like the six percent, four percent, two percent. It tells you how fast it goes for those various types of trains. So you look at this um, for the different cars and actually how fast that it moves. So even though when it's zero percent, it could go very fast. When it's actually the higher grade, it'll go very slow. And so you can actually kind of get an idea, though, even if you're going to be going all uphill, it might be more in your favor to actually choose another train that's not actually uh, cost the most or actually has the best annual maintenance just so that you have the ability of moving over to more locations. So, and let's go and let's cruise on over to Madeira. Come on. I want more monies. Nice, nice. Getting closer. One, cruise on over here. Give me some monies. I think that in this one, even though I, I need the, the track, I need as much available as possible, it's also real important to have a good infrastructure to start off with. Otherwise, you run into a ton of trouble later on. Or you're just trying to do the track, and some of these locations, if you notice where my mouse pointer is pointing, it's so hilly and it's so terrainy that sometimes you just got to spend like, you know, $3 million just going through some stuff and just going around some stuff because you're not going to make any money off of that. And so I'm trying to, even though, I mean, this isn't really on the way, it's not really helping me out going anywhere, um, it'll make it so that every one of those little ticks I get a little bit more money here and there. And so it's worth it for me. Man. So pretty much from now on, every single track that I lay is going to be going towards my destination. And I need to do that as soon as possible because... Uh, I need to actually go and get all the way over there. Oh crap. Damn it. And let me issue some bonds. Yes. Oops. Crap. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to issue stock. Yes. Issue stock. Yes. And then let me pay back two of my bonds. Uh, here. Let's pay this one back. Yes. And that one back. Yes. Okay. And how's my Chico doing? That's connected on up. Ah. Let's see. That's ex inexpensive. That'll be worth it to me in the long run. Just get little mash money cash dollars sent on up. And let's see. Sacramento. They have tons of this. Huh. Alright, where's that train? I had one train that was set up dedicated for it. Is it this one? No. Let's go up here. This one. Okay, let's change this one now to minus, 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 and go from, let's see, Sacramento to San Francisco, and do it this way, where I think from Sacramento it's all produce. Produce, produce, produce. And on the way back, it can be wherever the hell you want. And that way it might actually work on out. Okay, so let's go ahead and get rid of all my stocks. Nice. Take care of that. Ah, let me buy a couple more farms first before I go and make start making the long trek on over. Santa Rosa, not going to connect. And what is this? It's a logging camp. Okay. Nice. Damn, that shit's expensive. All right, let's see. Um, sorry, I, I'll get down one of these days. The actual buttons I need to hit. Issue stock, issue stock. Very nice. Let me get this logging camp going on. Just start getting money to come on in. Give me money, cash, dollars for everything. What does Madeira have? What does this guy got going on? Oh, they got shit. Damn it. This thing freaking blows. Uh. I'm guessing San Francisco actually has a ton of 
requirements and needs it has to do with. Lumber mill? No, that's not mill. Are they... Let's see. Something's got to be making uh, all this goddamn fruit or making use of it. No, it's got monies. Let's see. Let's look around. Nice. Corn farm. Sorry, to actually make money. I'm going to take it. This one's taking money as well. Alright, I think then I'm actually doing pretty well. Economic boom fading. This thing just came into existence. So let me go ahead and buy it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice. Took it. Mine. And can she stock? Nope. Not yet. What is this? Paper mill? Stupid paper mill. I want it. I want to buy it, make it my bitch. Alright, I'll buy this thing in a second. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. Mine. <sighs> Alright. So we got that. Nice. There's my bonus. Let me save my game. Third map three. Nice, nice, nice. Also, the one thing I'm not actually too familiar with is whether or not there's any like uh, graphical upgrades for this game. There's a couple of good sites that you can go to and you can check on out. Um, and it has some information on this game. Like, for instance, that's where you're able to go and get the patch for 1.06 that doesn't work for Windows 7. But I don't know whether or not there's other graphical updates. Like, if you played Morrowind, uh, Morrowind actually has an upgrade for it. For This is um, the very third game of the series that actually goes and works similar to uh, like the Oblivion upgrades to make it so it looks as nice and awesome as Oblivion. Now, I don't know whether or not there's even anything capable of making this game look nice and pretty, but... Uh, I'd be interested in it. I'd be interested in going and installing it. Although I hear that sometimes you guys don't like that type of stuff, where you go along the lines of trying to make stuff more graphically pretty. You want just like, you know, the unadulterated game if you want to head and bought it. Alright. And what I need to check on out is how I want to go and climb up this damn thing. Because this thing is going to suck. Uh, where is this list? Where's the grade of just not being terrible? Um, now, look at all those blocks. Right, let me go ahead and build the station real quick. Let's do this one right here. Uh, can I get away with just a small one? Doesn't need to be. Okay. Cruise, cruise, cruise. I think I'm going to go this way. Nice, nice, nice. Not connected, not connected. Where is it? <laughs> Screw it. Alright, now you're connected. Now you can leave me alone. Get this guy to here, got that guy, he's doing American. There's American! Yeah, America! And connect this guy and up to that guy and that guy, and give me a little action in between. Got me some breading goodness, save my game, because I am a stickler for that for no apparent reason. And let me look on how to freaking get up this bullcrap. Oh, man, that's gonna be terrible. Okay, okay, okay. It's gonna be up here, up there. All right, I think that's what I'm gonna take. It's just gonna be, it's gonna be painful. All right. And I think for this sake, it's not even worth trying to make it nice and pretty. Okay. Um, it's in 1864. Pausing my game. And let's see. Uh, what year do I have? 1876. So I got 12 more years. I need to connect on up as fast as possible so I can move those troops. Alright, let's go ahead and give me a little bit of speed. And just see what I can do. Yeah, this is one of those situations where you need to go and have that train track. Freaking, you need that train to be able to go up hills like it ain't no thing. It doesn't even care. It's just like, yeah, whatever, I'm bored. I can handle going up hills, because this is not a fun little hill for it to go up. And this shit just eats up your money like nobody's business. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Let me do this. Cruise on over here. Oh man, that's a terrible grade. Go back a little bit. Uh, can I go across? Come on, give me something. <laughs> Just look at all that color. And there we go. 
What the hell is happening? Nice, nice, nice. It's not pretty, but it'll get the job done. Let's go right through this little crevice right here. Ah, shit, I need more speed. I need people to pay me off. Issue stock. Issue stock. Nice. And now I got a little bit more going my way. Cruise on up here. Give me lots of sixes. I, I think the six is about the best you can expect off of cruising up here. Does it make me happy? No. I just don't think you really have an option. If you could, just go ahead and make a and make a tunnel that goes all the way from one side to the other. Oh, come on, church. Get the hell out of my way. Or the hell that is. It's gotta be a house. And don't be afraid to bulldoze these assholes if they get in your way. Uh, let's see. Let's go right next to it. Uh, so many fives. There we go. Cruise on up here. Come on up here. Do -do -do. And you know what? Let's go this way. I need to go on over to this city. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, yep, yep. Need to go all the way up here to this guy. And yeah, once you get to the very end, you just need to go and make a train that goes all the way from one side of the map to the other and do it a couple times. It takes a bit of time for, uh, what is it, the, the troops to be created. And so you actually don't have as much time as they say. Um, you need a couple years to migrate them all the way across, because I think you create like a troop and a half a year. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, let's see. Is it connected? There we go. That's where I need it to be. Oh, come on. I have, I have money cash dollars. I know it. There we go. Fine, don't give me the money. I'll find a way to get the money. Okay, let's do that. Let's get one train to go from here to there. And let's see, what does the best at steep grades? I think it's this guy. Yeah. So once again, it's going to be super fast going down the hill, and it's going to be super slow going up the hill. And let's see. Come on, guys. Can I issue more stock? Nope, not yet. I wish there was a little button which told you when stock was being... It's available for it, so I don't have to keep on clicking the button all the damn time. Nope, can't do it. I'm doing the best I can, guys. Believe you me. And you know what I'm going to try to do? Hold on, I'm going to save the game as soon as I have 100 grand available. That's what it is. Let's do it. And I'm going to see if I can actually build one of these bad boys right here. That did not leaven it the way that I wanted it to. I guess it's not bad. Whatever. I was hoping that it would actually make it so... <laughs> If you a little bit more even all the way across. And let's do this. Right here and right here. Yeah, I that thing going up the hill super damn slow. Whatever's, whatever's. Uh, issue stock. No! Let's see. Alright, I'm gonna buy this guy. When I can. <coughs> now let me plan my next route. So I'm going to go to Susanville, from Susanville on over to Reno, and then to Carson. I think you get a ton of money be going between Reno and Carson. You just need to go and actually create it. Come on, come on. Where's my money? Give it to me. Ah, fuck. Let's do it. 